हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट सेंटिलेशन डिटेक्टर दिस इज आवर सेंटिलेशन डिटेक्टर एंड हियर इज द आवर सोर्स हियर वी विल यूज फाइव सोर्सेज एंड वन इज डमी सोर्स डमी सोर्स इज यूज टू कैलकुलेट बैकग्राउंड काउंट एंड देर आर द फाइव सोर्सेज इन विच टू सोर्सेज कोबाल्ट वन थर्टी कोबाल्ट फिफ्टी सेवन एंड सीजियम वन थर्टी सेवन दिस इज कोबाल्ट फिफ्टी सेवन एंड दिस इज सीजियम वन थर्टी सेवन दिस बोथ आर यूज फॉर कैलबरेटिंग आवर सेंटिलेशन डिटेक्टर ओके एंड अनदर इज कोबाल्ट सिक्सटीन एंड सोडियम ट्वेंटी टू एंड बेरियम वन थर्टी थ्री विच इज यूज टू मेजर इट्स काउंट ऑन विंडोज सेवन ओके This is our scintillation detector, which is based on sodium iodide, uh, in which uh, thallium is used for use as impurities. And uh, uh, the, uh, sodium iodide is one kind of semiconductor. Uh, and this is our scintillation detector, which is uh, made in USA. And uh, this is its kit, in which uh, the, this is the scintillation detector is uh, placed here. and uh, first of all uh, to rec our uh, source in uh, scintillation de detector use the always use the spoon because these these are the radioactive substances if we uh, touch it and uh, if uh, they, uh, they are harmful for our bodies uh, let's take uh, cesium 137 after taking it we are going to rec it in box which contains scintillation detector and we have to close it okay yes sir first time now in second part uh, we use uh, window x pc uh, in which uh, the maestro software is based on the window pc uh, let's just start the uh, x uh, start the software now clear it after uh, we have to just always remember that uh, here is the always selected sbp sometimes there is a buffer is selected then uh, in mcb properties uh, there is nothing to be is selected okay uh, to select uh, 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 sbp and then uh, goes into mcb properties and check on the high voltage okay now uh, on it Uh, now come to the amplifier uh, suppose there is uh, something random gain is uh, given or uh, uh, already selected suppose like 71.7100 uh, then uh, what happen whenever we start our uh, uh, software then it just uh, look like there is a different kind of peaks in there now just let's let's see how the peak was look like now after 30 second we have to stop it uh, and then uh, rec on, on the first peak the highest peak which is known as photo peak uh, to measure it uh, let's uh, see peak information uh, uh, its value is around uh, 501 kilo electron volt and uh, its marker is uh, around 180 uh, first uh, we all know about uh, cesium 137 its marker is uh, around cesium its marker is, uh, is around 238 and its energy is 662 uh, to calibrate it first of all we have to select the gain uh, now uh, from the basic mathematics uh, we can calculate uh, it to calculate that first of all we know that our gain is 0.7100 at that at that time our uh, peak is uh, at the energy uh, 500 uh, 67 kilo electron volt okay so we put it here 500 67 kilo electron volt and uh, our required uh, uh, value of energy is 6 62 kilo electron volt then what is the value of uh, gain then the equation of gain is gain 0.7100 into 662 divided by 500.67 if we do the calculation basic mathematics uh, using the calculator then uh, we get the answer of 0.9300 this is the value of our gain then uh, let's just uh, clear the clear the display and then uh, again go to mcb properties and in amplifier we have to 
put the gain of 9300 0.9300 okay and again close the value and uh, again uh, go for the software run and now we just see that uh, at the graph the highest peak is at uh, around 656 kilo electron this is the value of our uh, energy that we again we have to uh, calibrate if uh, we uh, if this is, this value is very short then to gain using the shortcut key always we use alter plus alter plus is uh, used to change the gain okay using alter plus we can change gain again clear it and again go now uh, this is the perfect value uh, we see that uh, there is a maximum peak at 662 kilo electron volt at the gain of uh, 0 0.9334 uh, okay this is the value of gain and uh, that's how we calibrate our spectrometer Done. now to plot this graph we have to save this image uh, by using control s if it doesn't work then uh, use the file uh, and click on the save after we open this window then uh, we had to place any name just like uh, suppose physics underscore this is a graph for the cesium then we can write c as cesium and uh, its atomic mass is around 137 then we write 137 and we have to save it okay save it now to plot the graph uh, we uh, minimize our window and then open winplots winplots is a special software to plot a graph then now uh, we go to file and recall spectrum in uh, recall spectrum we have to just uh, uh, write or type our name that the file below we save ok then now just write cobalt cesium cesium 137 oh my uh, file's full name is physics uh, and uh, this is the file name we given below and we just uh, give enter and this is the graph that we want and now uh, to print our graph in uh, paint just uh, click on print uh, that is button is here on the keyboard okay then print now uh, this graph was covid okay uh, now open paint after open the paint always press ctrl v or you can place it by using uh, paste okay now control v is the shortcut key for paste now using control s we can save this graph uh, always remember the thing uh, it, the graph is in a type of jpg or jpeg uh, otherwise we cannot print it on the page <coughs> just uh, uh, select it on jpeg and give the name of graph like cesium underscore one three seven and it's let's save. Okay. Stop.